What happens when a landlocked country's lifeline to the world is threatened? In the heart of West Africa, a simmering dispute between Niger and Benin has captured the attention of the international community. At stake is not only the economic stability of two nations, but also the geopolitical balance in a region where global powers like China and France are deeply invested. This is more than just a diplomatic row. It is a complex saga of political maneuvers, economic interdependence, and international intrigue. The roots of the current crisis can be traced back to July 2023, when a military coup in Niger ousted the democratically elected President Mohamed Bazoum. The coup not only disrupted the political landscape of Niger, but also had profound economic repercussions. One of the most significant impacts was on the country's oil exports, which are vital for its economy. Niger, a landlocked nation, relies heavily on a 2,000-kilometer pipeline running through neighboring Benin to export its crude oil to the global market via the port of Semi on the Atlantic coast. This pipeline, built with Chinese investment, is crucial for Niger's oil industry. Before the coup, the pipeline facilitated the export of about 20,000 barrels of oil per day, with plans to increase this to 90,000 barrels per day. The revenue generated from these exports was essential for Niger's economic stability. However, the political upheaval in Niger led to a series of retaliatory measures from neighboring countries and international organizations, complicating the situation further. Following the coup, the Economic Community of West African States, a regional political and economic union of 15 countries located in West Africa, condemned the military takeover and imposed sanctions on Niger. As a member of ECOWAS, Benin supported these sanctions and even threatened military intervention to restore democratic governance in Niger. In response, Niger's military government closed its borders with Benin, leading to significant economic strain on both countries. The closure of the border had a severe impact on Benin's economy. The country, which had been exporting large quantities of staples to Niger, saw its government revenues plummet and the cost of food and goods rise. In retaliation, Benin blocked Niger's oil exports through its port, using the pipeline as leverage to pressure the Nigerian junta into reopening the borders and normalizing relations. China's involvement in Niger's oil industry adds another layer of complexity to the dispute. Over the past two decades, China has invested billions of dollars in Niger, making it the second largest investor in the country after France. The 2,000-kilometer pipeline is a part of this investment, aimed at transporting oil to China under a $400 million agreement. Despite the coup, China has continued to engage with Niger's military leaders, recognizing the strategic importance of its investments. However, the ongoing dispute with Benin threatens China's interests in the region. Without access to Benin's port, Niger cannot export its oil, jeopardizing the economic viability of the pipeline project. France, too, has significant interests in Niger and Benin. Historically, France has maintained a strong influence in West Africa, with military and economic ties to both countries. The current dispute has exacerbated anti-French sentiment in Niger, with allegations that France has secretly deployed troops in Benin to counter the junta government in Niger. France has denied these allegations, calling them baseless and part of a disinformation campaign. The suspension of oil exports to China and the blockade of the pipeline have severe economic implications for Niger. The country, which pumps around 20,000 barrels of oil per day, depends on the revenue from these exports to support its economy. The blockade has halted this vital source of income, putting additional strain on an already fragile economy. For Benin, the dispute has disrupted trade and increased the cost of goods, leading to public discontent. The government's decision to block Niger's oil exports through its port was a strategic move to pressure the junta into reopening the borders. However, this tactic has also hurt Benin's economy, highlighting the delicate balance of economic interdependence between the two countries. The dispute between Niger and Benin has far-reaching consequences for the entire West African region. The economic interdependence of countries in this region means that any disruption in trade routes can have a ripple effect, impacting not only the economies of Niger and Benin, but also those of neighboring countries. 
The potential for regional instability is a significant concern for ECOWAS and the international community. Prolonged conflict between Niger and Benin could disrupt the broader economic framework of West Africa, threatening regional stability and prosperity. The involvement of global powers like China and France further complicates the situation, as their strategic interests are at stake. Diplomatic efforts are underway to resolve the dispute and restore normalcy. ECOWAS is likely to play a crucial role in mediating between Niger and Benin, given its mandate to promote economic integration and political stability in the region. The bloc has already imposed sanctions on Niger and threatened military intervention, but a peaceful resolution through dialogue remains the preferred outcome. Both Niger and Benin have a vested interest in resolving the dispute. For Niger, reopening the pipeline and resuming oil exports is critical for its economic survival. For Benin, restoring trade relations with Niger is essential to stabilize its economy and reduce the cost of goods. The challenge lies in finding a mutually acceptable solution that addresses the concerns of both countries while maintaining regional stability. Public opinion in both countries has been vocal, with protests and demonstrations reflecting the high stakes involved. In Niger, citizens have demanded swift action from their government to resolve the dispute and alleviate economic hardship. In Benin, there is a growing call for transparency and a fair resolution to the conflict. Economists and regional analysts emphasize the importance of collaboration and diplomacy in resolving the dispute. The conflict serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of economic ties in West Africa and the need for cooperative mechanisms to manage disputes. The outcome of this dispute will likely set a precedent for how similar conflicts are handled in the future. The Niger-Benin oil dispute is a complex interplay of economic interests, political maneuvers, and international involvement. As both countries navigate this challenging landscape, the resolution of their conflict will have significant implications for regional stability and economic development. While the immediate prospects for a long-term solution remain uncertain, the potential benefits of cooperation and mutual economic gains offer a glimmer of hope for a more stable and prosperous future. This ongoing saga not only highlights the fragile nature of international relations, but also underscores the critical importance of diplomacy and economic interdependence in maintaining peace and stability in West Africa. The world watches closely as Niger and Benin grapple with their differences, hoping for a resolution that will benefit both nations and set a positive precedent for handling similar conflicts in the future. As the dispute unfolds, the actions of global powers like China and France will also be scrutinized, given their significant investments and strategic interests in the region. The outcome of this conflict will shape the geopolitical landscape of West Africa and influence the strategies of international investors in the region. Ultimately, the resolution of the Niger-Benin dispute will require careful negotiation, diplomatic finesse, and a willingness to prioritize long-term stability over short-term gains. The stakes are high, but the potential for a peaceful and prosperous future remains within reach if both countries can find common ground and work together to overcome their differences. Thank you for joining us on Africa Info Hub. Kindly stay informed, share your thoughts, and don't forget to subscribe for more nuanced perspectives on Africa's geopolitical landscape.